Science and Water and Power, Mr. Masood Khan, President of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, Mr. Raja Farooq Haider, Prime Minister of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, and Shiza Fatima Khwaja, General Secretary, Young Parliamentarians Forum. Honorable uh, parliamentarians, worthy delegates from the United Kingdom, Canada, and the European Union, leaders from uh, Azad Jammu and Kashmir, and Kashmiri brothers and sisters, and youth representatives of Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all extend a very warm welcome to all the delegates especially who are joining us from abroad. I would li like to commend the organizers, organizers of the seminar for this timely initiative. I am certain that you will have fruitful discussions and these discussions will help highlight the plight of the people of Kashmir. Ladies and gentlemen, Kashmir is an integral part of Pakistan's identity. Our hearts beat in sync with our Kashmiri brethren. We share each moment of their pain and pleasure. We rejoice in their happiness and we grieve in their gloom. I salute the spirit and determination of the people of Kashmir for continuing their struggle for the inalienable right of self-determination in the face of brutal and deliberate repression. The youth of Kashmir are writing a new chapter in Kashmir's history. The Shahadat of Burhan Wani, the vibrant and charismatic young leader, has become a rallying point for the freedom-loving people of the territory. In an effort to silence that one voice, the oppressors have found that they have unleashed a thousand more. Ladies and gentlemen, supporting the just struggle of the people of Kashmir for their right of self-determination is an article of faith for every Pakistani. We know what they are going through. Pakistan will always support morally and politically and diplomatically the rights of Kashmiri people and continue to prick the conscience of international community for their right of self-determination. The peaceful protests that continue for the past more than five months are an expression of the indomitable courage and the will of Kashmiris. Pakistan will make sure that the world knows about what is happening in Kashmir. We have sent delegations to important capitals abroad and I have personally raised the issue of Kashmir in front of the international community in my address to the United Nations General Assembly in September 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, to paraphrase Martin Luther King Jr. History will have to record that the greatest tragedy is not the strident clamor of the bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people. Oppressors will continue to oppress, and the oppressed will continue to bleed, unless the conscience of the world cries out clearly and loudly enough. The world needs to tell India that enough is enough. Seventy years of brutal repression and seventy years of determined Kashmiri struggle in the face of oppression have clearly demonstrated that cries of freedom cannot be stifled by the sound of bullets. If that had been the case, more than half of the world would still be enslaved. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan desires peaceful relations with all of its neighbors. 
we must cast aside the baggage of history. We must look to the future. We owe it to our people to give them the gift of development and progress that people of most other regions of the world are enjoying. One of the preconditions for this is a halt to repression in Kashmir. Kashmir cannot remain on boil forever. And I would like to reiterate the four-point formula that I presented at the United Nations General Assembly last year. It must be understood that the people of Jammu and Kashmir have to be an integral part of a final settlement of the conflict since they are the real arbiters of their destiny. United Nations resolutions on Kashmir recognize their right to self-determination. The world is a guarantor of their rights. So I take this opportunity to once again urge the international community to make all-out efforts to ensure that Kashmiris get the right that was promised to them 70 years ago. Among those who promised them their right was not just Pakistan and members of the Security Council speaking for the international community, but also India. The United Nations Security Council's resolutions on Jammu and Kashmir must be implemented. The way forward is to allow the people of Jammu and Kashmir to exercise their right to self-determination through a free and fair plebiscite held under the United Nations. The continued sufferings of generation after generation of the Kashmiris must now come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pakistani nation, the parliament, and the government will continue to support the just and indigenous struggle of the Kashmiris with all political, diplomatic, and moral means. This seminar is one of, uh, one of clear is one clear manifestation of this determination. I thank you all for participating. All of you who are sitting here, I thank you for your participation in this uh, important seminar. It sends a clear message to the people of Kashmir that the people here will not remain, remain silent in the face of their continued sufferings. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan, Zindabad.